more ammo. Yes. 12 gauge gets the job done. Watch this. <laughs> Fountain of youth. Let's try the other one. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. Oh, somebody put a garbage can lid right in the way. Can you believe that? <laughs> I teach him. Yeah, Hickok 45 again, having more fun than I deserve to have. Oh man, don't hate me because I'm beautiful and I have all these cool guns to shoot. Uh, isn't that what Christy Brinkley said? Actually, I think she just said, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. She didn't have a lot of cool guns to shoot. We definitely do today. This is a Remington SPR, I think for Spartan 220F. Uh, it's uh, imported, they imported it uh, from Russia, made by, by call. And you noticed we hacked off the barrel here before the video. Don't tell anybody. Just kidding. Done perfectly legally, obviously, or we would not have it. Uh, this is uh, from NC Silencer. Thanks to NC Silencer, we have this jewel to uh, experiment with and shoot. All right, I'd be careful on that grip, right? That's a pretty short barrel for a 12 gauge shotgun. Can you believe it? It was actually cut off by Paladin Armory, Elliston, Montana. Call it the Bear Claw. How cool is that? The Bear Claw. The Baikal Bear Claw. <laughs> it is definitely a Bear claw, claw, a Grizzly. So, let's just shoot it some more. What all did we shoot? We have a few things left to shoot. I don't know if we'll shoot the gong with a bird shot or not. We might take a couple shots over there. Lay it down here where you can see it. And uh, while I reload magazines, on the way, but there's no magazines to reload. So again, we appreciate the NC Silencer bringing us along and the Federal for supplying some food for it. And uh, we've got uh, some field loads, target loads we'll shoot, and we got some double odd buck, you know, just to make sure I get jarred around a little bit, all right, to see what, what happens there. And uh, we may do some other things with it later and all that, but we wanted to bring it to you, show you what we have. Uh, as I understand, I've never had a by call before from Russia. And my browsing around, seeing what people say about them, and I've kind of gotten away from going to and shooting in cowboy action matches, so I don't hear a lot of talk at the matches. But uh, people tend to like these. They are well made. They, they're solid. There's a lot of steel in them. I mean, that's kind of the, the take I get on it. Although you do see mixed reviews. Some people who have had trouble with them and don't like them. All right. But by and large, uh, my take on it is it's one of the better uh, double shotguns uh, out there now. Okay, I mean in the four, five, six hundred dollar price range. If you're not going to go up to fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars and get some old Parker Hale or, or uh, uh, L.C. Smith or, or some shotgun and hack it off, you know. So that's uh, so the the Baikal is is apparently a, a decent shotgun. Pretty wood, doesn't it? Must have some nice walnut over there in Russia and. Um, interesting well let's shoot it some more okay let's get you know what we're going to do for you too here before we shoot up the world too much let's get some double on buck and let's let's show you a little bit about the and show me and john because we really don't know we've not done it yet a little bit about the patterning what i want to do here and before i get too excited from far afield is let's see i need we always need a couple with this one duh we're going to shoot we've got some paper set up here we put a target there, you know, one of our eBay targets. I don't know if anything left of it to put on eBay, but we stuck one up anyway. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the top targets. This one is at six yards. We, we measured it here, believe it or not, very scientifically, six yards. And uh, the far targets are twice that far, which would be what, 12? Yeah, 12 yards, all right? So we're at six and 12. If your bedroom is bigger than that, uh, you got a big house. But, uh, you know, that's just, I was afraid to put those too much further away because I don't know this thing may spread so much. Uh, it'd be crazy. We'll see. All right. So we're going to take a shot at each top target with this baby. I'll go ahead and do them both here. All right. I'll do the right barrel. We'll see what kind of spread. Now there's a couple of 38 caliber holes in that, but uh, I'm going to aim for the paper. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now that one. 
<laughs> okay, kind of patterns a little bit high, but I see where they went. You reckon we ought to put another one on there? I don't know, that one, I think all of those are on the paper. Actually, I think most of those are too, they're just towards the top, okay? Just a little bit higher than point of aim. All right, let's try the 20 inch barrel now of the Rossi, just to compare. I need two rounds. We got double lock buck on both of these. Yes, okay, nine pellets. Actually, we could count the pellets, right? <laughs> See if we got enough of them on there to tell anything. All right, we're gonna shoot the bottom target. And the far target, bottom. Get her cock, yeah. All right. Now, maybe I better traipse down here a little bit. Uh, okay. Give me nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. That, that's the the wad there. So I don't know. Looks like there's a couple there. So so you know. Okay, not bad. That's, that'd be a pretty good little pattern. Six yards. And then the longer barrel is, uh, oh, look at that smoke coming out. Isn't that, isn't that sexy? <laughs> and uh, there you can see that. That's not a very big group, is it, for a shotgun? So the barrel length in, in and of itself you know, makes a little difference there. This is not too scientific like anything we do. But just to give you an idea, let's check out the other one here. So this is now, again, 12 yards. That's almost 36 feet. So down here we've got with the long barrel, you know, we've got, most of them are kind of on that paper and not a lot of spread. Similar to the other shotgun, it's six yards. Now up here, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so a couple of them might have gone over there. Two, four, six, seven, whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, you'd get one on them, 12 yards. And that was with the short baby, the SBS. So, uh, that's a long way. If we were inside your house, you very likely don't have a, yeah, you might, but you very likely don't have a place where you would not, we're talking home self-defense here, right? They're kind of implied. Uh, how many places in your house are gonna be farther away than 12 yards like that? So again, as and uh, we've done this in a little bit more scientific method before and we'll do more with it but but uh mainly another reminder while we had these out here that just because i have a short barrel shotgun uh, cut off like that i can't just take out the world you know at uh, five yards or ten yards so it's just kind of a reminder about that we we'll see if uh we can make john walk backwards without falling i do well to walk forwards without uh, falling so this is the Rossi here. And of course, these are different shotguns and uh, neither one has chokes or anything like that. I think this is a cylinder bore, but the Overland. So I wanted to have this out here anyway, just to show you the difference. And so I thought, well, we had it. Let's just let's do a little comparison. And boy, look at the difference. Close them up. Well, when you uh, hack off a shotgun that far, first of all, you better have paperwork. Uh, <laughs> yes, you want possibility of ten thousand dollar fine and ten years in prison not worth it right my paperwork is right in my pocket here uh so that's that's quite a sight isn't it <laughs> i mean that is amazing I'm, i've always thought that if i was going to ever get something with a short barrel you know nfa short barrel uh it would be a shotgun like this and so this is pretty cool uh it's nice to have the stock it would also be cool to have it about cut off like that wouldn't it so you wouldn't have that stock be a booger to shoot but that'd be pretty cool well, let's shoot a little bit more just wanted to shoot that enough to get it dirty duh okay let's try some double lot here uh yeah we got a couple of two liters left so let's put some double lot in here i'm like a double barrel shotgun all right short or long oh look well we could use bird shot on those I'm going to try uh, both of those two liters. I was trying to save uh, soaking our target there, partly. Oh, uh, you know what? It does print high. 
Let me hold her down. Okay. <laughs> I was shooting double odd buck, wasn't I? Okay. That's interesting. Let me try some more. I'm going to shoot the same thing. Maybe I better get a whole handful of it. Uh, I didn't. I did not do that on purpose. Believe it or not. Part of it is this this little shotgun, and uh, you know, I guess being a little wary of it and everything. But I don't know where they went. But uh, that that's some evidence that you can miss. You know, with a shotgun, even at that distance. I'm shooting. I was shooting at the two liter here on the dueling tree. Believe it or not. All right. Okay, it seems to print higher than where you hold. Well, I discovered that on these paper targets, so let's just bring her down a little bit and quit embarrassing myself. There you go. <laughs> Need to hold on the bottom of it. Uh, see, same thing. Of course, that was uh, pretty far on out there. I was shooting at that other one. Cool, we might just have to attack it, run it down. Part of that is just knowing where, where it's going. Let's try a couple of bird shots. Get a little bit more spread. Ah, ah. Yeah, <laughs> more fun. Here's another one. <laughs> Got to remember to hold on the bottom. Pretty neat. I bet you I could take off some of those champion targets there. Let's see how I many I could take off with one shot. I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe none. <laughs> They're pretty heavy, actually, so I might have had some shot in them. Nothing more fun than just playing, uh, you know, playing, I say playing, you know, safely with a shotgun. I mean, if you're not hunting, I mean, what else is it? Uh, it's shooting sports, playing baseball, playing firearms. Yeah. Some people don't like that term. There we go. There we go. Boy, concussion. Oh man, anything with a shorter barrel gives you a little more blast. Woo! You, would you like to see that barrel? I mean, is that cool? That's <laughs> the entire shotgun. Wow. Read owner's manual. Uh oh, that's my problem. Man, that is a short shotgun. Now, watch me have trouble getting it back. There we go. Okay. Back in action. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know if it's dusty enough. One thing I wanted to do too is uh, throw a couple over there on the hill and see, I'm gonna shoot towards the gong and see if we can tell anything about what sort of spread we get over there just for kicks, just because we can. I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll aim uh, to the right of the tires more or less or try to hit in there. I better aim at the, the fallen targets. That might put it there. Went kind of high, okay. Ah. Now what was I shooting? Short-term memory loss. Okay, that was double odd buck. I'll tell you what, that's 70 and 80 yards. And uh, I don't want you shooting at me with it at that far away. You know, most people would just laugh at you. Oh, you have a shotgun at 80 yards. Yeah, that's really scary. That's going to really scare me. Well, let's do that again. Now I've got my ears in and the blast from the shotgun. You might even hear it uh, hit the gong. There's a desperado up there about to take a shot at you from the gong. Those pellets uh, could deter him, I tell you. I think I shot higher that time. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Again, these require special, you know, paperwork and uh, a stamp and uh, your waiting period. And in most states, uh, they're legal. And it's just uh, just an added requirement, uh, you know, getting approval from your local law enforcement, signed off on unless you have a trust established. You can go online. You can find out everything you need about that at the NC Silencer uh, website or uh, just it's just all over the web okay so if you are interested just just be aware and, and know you can't take your shotgun or your dad's shotgun and saw it off like this it is a like a, it really is a 10-year uh, penalty or ten thousand dollars i think maximum penalty so be aware of that oh good we've got a couple of pots let's see if we can get a little pot smoking with it all right 
forgot about that. This ought to be about the right spot, I guess. <laughs> ah, okay. Didn't smoke them too well, but got them. And we got one watermelon left. What should we put on that watermelon? We're going to be close enough. I don't think it matters. We'll just put some uh, seven and a half shot on him. All right. How about right here? If I hold in the right place. He will go down. Yeah. Whoa, cowboy. <laughs> Need to hold low. Need to hold low with it just a little bit. Interesting. I think what I'll do is take another shot at the paper targets with some uh, bird shot. Like why not? With this thing, see where they go. If you've already seen, and then plus the, the holes will be bigger, you can tell the difference. Let's just take some bird shot at the top one. I'm gonna hold a little bit lower now that I have a better feel for where to hold. Okay. There go. I put two on it. Uh, I can see it's all over that shoot and see or whatever that is there. Visicolor target. So uh, you can see that. John give you a good look at it. I'll put one right here. Not much difference between bird shot and double aught buck, if you're close. Yeah, you don't get much spread. Devastating, devastating. Anyway, I know that wasn't all that scientific, it was just kind of a why not, since we had this short barrel. So, that's probably enough fun with it for right now. You will see it probably again, because uh, this is just uh, too cool a piece not to shoot. Uh, or some things and again this uh th this gun has more names on it than you can imagine it's actually ussg uh and eea they're all kind of part of the same group or corporations best i know made by uh by call I believe it's pronounced and uh imported by remington and it's uh is one of their spartan models this one the f for function or something it's got the hammers you know i think it's maybe the only one with a hammer and these are real hammers by the way some of these guns have a a uh, fake hammer it's just for cosmetic purposes you can see the firing pin in there i'll uh let it fall see it actually hits the firing pin and uh you know strikes the primer so these are these are real hammers they're not just uh, there for looks there are some of these that have that and then you have your internal hammer and all that kind of thing okay so that's a uh, interesting little shotgun, I have to say. Uh, lots of possibilities. Life is good.